Darren here from DeepLapse.com. I've got a very simple free template here, and this is animation control. Now, you notice when I press right, the character is going to run right, but he's only going to go through one cycle of the animation and then stop. I'm going to press left, and he's going to go through three different animations, three cycles of the animation, and then stop. Now, using um, the frame of the image, now you can see here, self image contains frame 7, which is the last frame, contains 007. Just have a quick look at that one. Whether you can see that or not. Well, the last frame here is object run 007. So that's the last frame in the animation. Now, if it contains that, it's going to make the run right to false. Now, with the left, we're actually also judging that. We're also counting down how many frames it's got. But we're going to cycle through. So if self-image contains 007, and this is for the left, we're going to count cycles to self-count cycles plus 1. And then when self-count cycles equals 3, so basically when it's gone through 3 times, then we're going to stop the animation, run left to false. And you can change this to uh, what you want. It just gives you more control over the animations because Game Salad at the moment you haven't got a lot of control over the animations but this is a, a neat way by taking an image number and, and controlling exactly what you want to do. So just quickly run through it again. When you're running right it'll just go through one frame of animation unless obviously you hold your finger down. And then when you go left it'll go through three cycles of animation. And you can change this to what you want. Uh, so anyway, that's just a quick overview of the animation control. Hope you have fun with it and thanks for the support over at deepblueapps.com.